Hey guys, this one is a complete Weeble paper trading tutorial. If you do want to follow along, you haven't got the app yet, then you can check out my link in the description to sign up and get the app. Also, if you do deposit $100 in your account, we will give you free stocks. So it's definitely worth checking out. You can get free stocks up to 1400 bucks if you deposit $100 in your account. So check out that link in the description. Let's get into the Weeble app and I'll go through paper trading in Weeble. So let's get the application open right now. And what's great is that even if you don't deposit 100 bucks, you can still have an account and paper trade. So the easiest way to get into paper trading is to actually go down to the menu in the bottom right hand corner. And there is an option in the menu right here, as you can see, paper trading. You can click on that and it's going to take you straight through to your paper trading account. We will give you a million dollars of paper currency or fake currency to trade with, which is really great. If you ever want to reset all of your settings in your trades and your account, come up to this option in the top right hand corner, press reset, and then everything will essentially go back to as it was. Right now, I have two open positions that I uh, opened a fair while ago. One is Nvidia and one is Apple. So any of your open positions, you will see them listed here. I just have two right now. What's great at the top as well, you can see the net paper account value. So that's essentially just what my account is either up or down. To the right hand side of that, it gives you a amount and also a percentage. So my account is up 0.25%. So not really big in any way, but it's nice to see that right there when you come into the paper trading account. Also below that, it shows your day's PL and then the market value of your account, the buying power that you have. It's very simple and it's just what you want to see when you're trading really what you are actually up or down in your account and what you're up or down for the day. So that's certainly good information there. Then below that you have three options, quick trade, orders and performance. Quick trade will take you straight through to a stock screen. So yeah, let's just do that. So we'll click quick trade. It takes us through to a search bar. So what particular stock do you want to buy? Well, maybe you want to buy Apple. So here's what every single stock screen looks like. Firstly, up in the top left hand corner is the price of the stock on the day. And of course, that will always be moving as long as the market is open. Red for down, green for up. That's the color scheme that I use. You can see how much it's up or down just to the right hand side of that both the price and also the percentage. So Apple is just at the moment trading about 1% down on the day. The iPhone 12 is launching today. As you can see from the chart below, it has had a massive run up and traders are just taking some profits today. Underneath that, you have the previous open and close, the day's range and the volume, the amount of shares traded in the stock over the last 24 hours. As we move down, I'm gonna go into the stock in way more detail in a second, but what's really important as we scroll down is that we get a lot more information. Firstly is just some important news in the stock, which you obviously might wanna look at before trading. Then we have analysis. And what we will do is essentially group together a bunch of analysts from around Wall Street. In the case of Apple, this is based on 40 analysts, but depending on the stock, it might be more or less. Apple obviously has amongst the most. And you can see that a lot of people uh, are either rating this a buy or a strong buy and very few are rating it a sell. I think this is really great to see just right in the stock page to see just a general overview of how the market sees the stock. As you can come down, you've got some price targets here as well. And then this is a distribution of the cost positions in the stock. I think it's just a really great amount of information, honestly, that you get. And you get this in the paper trading account as well. You don't even have to sign up and get $100 in your account. I will come on to drawing some lines on the chart in a little bit and some trend lines, but actually it's just done for you right here in support and resistance. You can see that you've got a resistance line right there and a support line. And honestly, it draws it for you. And to be honest, as a retail trader, if you're just looking for some quick bits of information, it's all in here. This is short interest. So how many people are short the stock? So there's a lot of information in this analysis as you can go through. We can then go through to press releases and the financials of the stock as well. So uh, when they release earnings and what they are, it's a very simple way to see all the key parts of their financials. Honestly, I really like the way that we will do this. It is just very simple and 
effective in what they give you. So as we come through to quotes again, this is the NASDAQ level two order book. So we can see exactly what's happening live in the market right now. So obviously you have the bid ask right here and Apple is currently trading around 122.8, 122.9. What's great is that you can also see basically a bar chart of where volume is. So obviously the larger the bar chart on a specific price, the more volume that is there on the order book. So it's flicking around really quickly right now, but we can see maybe 122.8, there's a lot of volume on the buy side there. So if you're a seller and you've got a big amount of volume, you might wanna look out for not just the price, but also the amount of volume at a given price, because that really is where the market is. So again, really great bit of information. You're gonna get this in other apps too. But as we come down, there's just way more. Uh, so you have all of the trades that have actually gone through right here, and then order flow distribution in terms of who are the buyers and sellers, and uh, who's winning basically, either buyers or sellers. And in the case of Apple, mostly buyers, but obviously today the stock is just taking some profits as actually today is the iPhone 12 release date. So the chart we're looking at at the moment is just a simple overview and it's really good to have. But what we can do is come down and actually press this tiny icon in the bottom right hand corner and it switches us to landscape mode. And then you can just get kind of in depth with the charts. So it flicks you right onto a monthly list right now. And on the right hand side, you basically have the price level. And then to the very right hand side, these are some technicals that can, you can use with charting. So we've got the moving averages on here right now. And by default, it gives you five, 10 and 20 days. You can have the Bollinger Bands on there as well. So I'll take moving averages off. You can have the MACD at the bottom. So there's plenty of technicals that you can use here. It's not the most extensive list that I've ever seen, but to be perfectly honest for retail traders, I think it is enough. So let's just go through to maybe some moving averages right here. Then what we can do is go and actually draw on the chart. So we'll press this button right here, which is like a pencil icon. And yeah, why don't we go ahead and draw a trend line on the chart. So it will come up with uh, this menu right here, which you can move around if you want. But what I'm gonna do simply is just press somewhere on the chart where I want the line to start and then somewhere where I want it to finish. And you can see a trend line is drawn. Now I can press and hold on that trend line and essentially move it anywhere I want. Maybe a support trend line, somewhere as resistance. Not really interested in drawing a perfect line, but you can see how you can draw trend lines on here. You can also change the style of the line and also the color by pressing these options as well. So maybe we have it in orange. Now, if you wanna get rid of this, simply press the bin and that is gone. You can also change the range for the chart. So maybe we wanna to go to a one day chart. So this is the chart of the day. All of the technicals go, you essentially just get trades on the right hand side. So this is the live order book with the chart by the side obviously what you want to see. And then if you go to daily, that will go and you'll get the technicals back. On this chart as well, you get these bits of information. So earnings was then, the dividend was uh, when XDiv here and then the stock split right here. So just good bits of information in the chart. Other things you can do with the chart, pressing on this icon, uh, let us compare it to other stocks. So if you go to compare and maybe we search for another stock here. So maybe uh, we want Tesla on there. So you can search for that and it will come up. Just press the plus button and you can compare three stocks at once, but I'm happy with comparing these two. So I'm gonna press compare. And now you can see in blue, that is Apple and then the orange is Tesla. You can't really do too much when comparing charts to be totally honest, but what it does do is just gives you a quick comparison of the relative price movements of the stocks over the given time. It's not the best charting for me, but it does the job I think. So as we come out of the charts, why don't we go ahead and just place a trade in Apple. So we go into paper trading right here and this is the trade screen. So when you place a trade in a stock, it's going to be the same in every one. You are either a buyer or a seller and they're color coded, which obviously is nice. So maybe I want to sell some stock of Apple because I do have a position in Apple. Maybe I want to sell some and the quantity you have to choose. So this can be changed basically with the plus and minus button or with the slider bar, as you can see here. And what's great is that because I already have a position in Apple, it tells me that I do have 30 shares and you can just slide this up and down essentially and it will tell you what percentage of your position that you wanna be trading out of. Of course, if you're on the buy side, it's not gonna do that. What it is going to do is tell you how many shares you can buy with the amount of money that you have in your account. So I think that's quite a good thing. You can also just press the amount right here and maybe just say uh, 10 shares, press OK 
OK and that's done for you. Now, moving down, you have to choose what type of order that you put into the system. You can choose a limit order or a market order. A market order doesn't have any price. You just decide how many shares you either want to buy or sell, and then you will trade at whatever the current price in the market is at that current time. That may be good or bad for you. Obviously, you just cannot choose. So most people actually choose a limit order. Doing this, you can essentially choose the price that you want to trade at. And if the price isn't there, then it won't trade. So you'll just have that order working in the system. So what's really great about Webull actually is that when you press the limit price like this, you get basically live prices right there when you're inputting your price. So you can see the bid and the ask right here and the last price that it was traded at. That's really good. So you know exactly where you are. So if I'm a buyer and I have a limit price, then that limit price must be cheaper than the current ask because if it isn't, then I could go ahead and trade. So the current bid is 122.78. Maybe I want to get on the order book at 122.78. Five, like this. And that means I want to buy shares currently at a cheaper price than they're offered at. So I can input this order as a limit order. So I press OK. You can also change the prices down here with this slider bar, but I don't think it's the best to do it that way. It's kind of not accurate. Then we come down to time in force. You can either choose good till cancelled or a day order. A good till cancelled order will literally stay in the system and Webull will keep this order there for you until it's traded out or if it doesn't trade then it will just be there forever unless you cancel it a day order will only be there for the day so if your trade isn't executed and you don't trade that day Webull will just cancel out that order and you'll have to input some fresh trades the next day so it depends what you want to do if you want it in there forever basically or you just want it for the day and then for it to cancel when the day is over if you haven't traded do you want to trade in extended hours either yes or no I don't ever trade in extended hours because volume is a lot lower and you tend to get kind of bad prices. Then before you confirm, right down at the bottom, you can see the estimated amount of the trade and also the available funds in your account just before you do anything. So let's go ahead and buy 10 shares of Apple. So we'll confirm that. And as you can see, it is actually working for us. So remember, we have a limit order that is under the current ask. So our trade won't go through, it can't. We're trying to buy too cheap. So the only way that we're going to get filled is if the price moves down and then we will be filled. But Webull is working this order for us. You can see the status, it says working right now. The total filled quantity on the right hand side is currently zero. So we haven't even bought one shares of our 10 share order. So that's the way that goes. Now, if we come out of there and then come out of the Apple stock chart as well, just press cancel on this. We'll go through back to our paper trading account. You can see I've got some positions that I already traded. And then on the right hand side, open orders. So you could have one or 10 different orders that are working in the market. Maybe you have 10 different limit orders. They're all going to be here in your open orders and you can see them, maybe see how many uh, shares are filled per each order. So it's all there for you to look at. You can also press the orders tab right in the middle here and it's going to give you all of the orders that have been executed before. So you can see we have a few Apple buy orders that are filled. We have one Nvidia buy order that was canceled and we have an Apple buy order that is working. It tells you all of the information and all of the history of your trades. That's really great. So coming out of there, another great thing that you get in the paper trading account is performance. So if we click on performance, we basically get our PL for stocks and then the whole account PL. So right now we're in account PL and it's going to tell us the annual return, the monthly return, and then how much in dollars we are actually up. And it just gives us some very easy charts here in terms of uh, how the account has gone over time. All of this information is obviously exactly what you want when you're trading. So we have our trading PL here. And of course, if you do hold stocks with Webull, then you are gonna be getting some dividends if you've got some blue chip stocks. I have none in here right now, but if you have dividend payers, you can see all of your dividends in there and then your daily PL down here. I think it's just very simple information that of course traders wanna look at. Moving over to stock PL, this is essentially all of the stocks that you hold and if you're up or down in them individually. 
So obviously that's gonna be different to the account PL, which is just a general overview. But in this option, you'll see each and every stock that you've traded into and if it is losing you compared to others. So you can really drill down and see which stocks are performing and which stocks aren't performing for you. Coming out of there, if you actually want to trade out of a stock, then it's much easier to essentially just go to this page, go to my positions. You'll have all of your stocks that you currently own, obviously listed here, as you can see, I've got two. So let's say I wanna trade out of some Apple shares. Well, we can click right on Apple straight away. And as you can see, it actually takes you to a different kind of screen. So not the stock screen, but this is essentially like a quick trading screen. And because you've got the position already, it shows you the average price of your stock overall, which I think is really important, the current market value, and of course, if you're up and down on the stock. Also, all the different trades that you've made in your stock down here in field records. You can then go and very quickly trade the stock. So if you wanna buy some more, come here. It will take you through to that trade screen that we've already gone through. So that's really great. It's exactly the same for sell actually as well. You can go through that if you want to sell. But what's great as well is that you have this close position option. And what this will do if you press it, it will very quickly obviously make you a seller, but it will put the quantity of shares that you have. So close really means just close out your entire position, sell all your shares, and it will very quickly populate the quantity field with the amount of shares that you hold. So you don't have to put that in. Obviously, sometimes if you're a seller, you wanna sell very quickly and it will just input all of that for you in terms of the quantity. You can then go and either set your market or limit order and then go and confirm. So that's just a very quick way to actually trade out of a position rather than having to go into the stock chart and then choose everything yourself. But Webull does offer some really good features when it comes to paper trading. And you can also just go to watch lists as well and then go to markets and really find more stocks. That's for some different tutorials though. I've got way more tutorials. I'll link some below that should be really helpful. Also check out that link in the description if you wanna sign up for Webull, deposit $100 and you will get some free stocks as well in your account. If the video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.